And good morning. Welcome back to Bloomfield, Canada, where we're surviving and starting from scratch. I am Lord Elric, your host, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. So we're into, I think it's day or episode three here. We've managed to get ourselves a vehicle. There we go. And we've got a few gardens going over here. Problem is, I don't think they have much water. And I did not restock them very well <laughs> the night before. Uh, between episodes, I jumped right into the next episode here. Because it's so much fun. So, we don't really have those up and running. What we really need is around hundred grand to get us what would make that job a whole heck of a lot easier. So we need to figure this out. What's going to make us the most net profit? Harvesting potatoes in field 56. That's an awful lot of work and it would be multiple episodes if we do that. Um... Let's see, 56 is down here. So we've worked on that field before. Oops. Uh, let's see what other options we have. Fertilizing, more harvesting potatoes. Um, ooh, these make more profit per minute. But, you know... I think we're going to end up uh, doing this one or getting it started so that we can make some money. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and borrow these items. And we're going to take our truck into the, to the shop so that we can go ahead. Oh, let's get the engine started. Let's turn off that. And we'll head to the shop. So we can pick up our stuff and go to field 56 and get that going. Uh, we do need to figure out exactly where we're dropping off the potatoes, but that's okay. We'll do that. Uh, turn, why did the headlights go off? Oh, oh well. Let's take a look. Uh, the contract... We're taking them to Johnson's Farmer's Market, which is perfect. And not having headlights kind of sucks here. Oops. There we go. So let's go ahead and park back here out of the way they don't mind they know i'll be returning this later okay we're out let's get the panther 2 set up all right and uh that goes on the front which means we got to turn around hook this bad boy up. I hope this goes on the front. Find out if it doesn't. Take a look. So I assume disconnected on the front, but it does not. This connects on the front, so we're gonna just cheat just a touch. We're just going to turn it around. There we go. I have not used this piece of equipment before, so... Interesting looking interior. 
but we want to get this out on the field and get it going because it's going to take time to get that job done because this is not a very wide harvester and it just takes time which is fine so i'm going to do do, do jump to getting this i'm going to get this going and i'm going to go into town and i'm going to grab the tractor and i will be back in just a second some of this equipment i've not played with this particular one before i'm hoping the sun comes up in a little bit here that would be nice and we'll see how it goes so we're going to do a short time lapse here so please enjoy This is the second sorghum field I've harvested. I plowed a field and I did two potato harvests. The second potato harvest field on field 23 was fantastic. We had almost a trailer and a half load that was ours to keep. Uh, we barely squeaked in on the uh, field 56 that we started with. So we're going to fill these up and then we're going to route these to go to do delivery to Johnson's Farmer's Market. And as we get that kicked off, we will yeah, learn to drive a straight line and we will go and uh, get that cultivator set up and we'll modify this to make the plow job get paid. Let's see, maybe that 50%. That's a fair wage. It's not cheap for us, but it's reasonable. We're doing all the coordination work for them, so. And the great thing about this field of sorghum is it's right literally across from the shop. So, we're making some decent money. Not fantastic, but we're getting to the point where we're going to be able to start seriously looking at investing more into stuff we want. Which will be great. We'll be able to route this so that it goes, drops the stuff off, and then comes back to the field for us. While we go get the other setup running. And I want to get the take this all the way out to the road up there. So this last side of the field. Don't put your shoot away. Get as much in this run as we can. I have a hard time estimating those some days. But we're making progress. We're getting there. We'll get uh, that other one set up and running for the cultivating. And then we will start looking at buying our water truck. And we'll want to save up for a flatbed for that thing too. Because it'll make hauling stuff so much easier. 
right? So we got that. Now we can come up here. We can say we want to do that, but we want it to go to Johnson's. So that'll run that. Let's jump out here. We need to do field 18. So let's drive up there, get this unfolded, get it configured, and we'll jump back and see how the unload's going for field 47. Lots of things going on. It's kind of nice to be able to manage multiple fields at the same time. We're kind of playing farm manager, making sure people are doing what they're supposed to do, which is just fine. We're making some money doing it. All right, so we're going to set up a course. We're going to do six headlands because I don't want to run into trees. How does that look? Yeah, that looks good. All right, we're going to pull this past this point because it's a trick I've learned. And then we say go ahead and start cultivating. And... There we go. That's going. So let's jump back. This is unloading there. I am a little concerned that uh, not everything's being deposited properly. That might have been our problem with... You know, that was a different drop point, so... Go ahead and unload that. Well, we're already over 50% done on field 47. That's fantastic. I was going to set this to drive us back to the field, but honestly, it's right there. Since I'm not in the middle of anything too critical, we can just drive this right around here. And start unloading. <laughs> and autosave is kicking in. Let's go ahead and unload the combine real quick so that we've got all of that and then we can uh, pa temporarily park this the great thing with the cultivating is we don't have to worry about that tractor until it finishes now all right so that looks like it's completely unloaded so we're going to stop there and we're going to go and see if we can buy that truck that we want the flatbed 53,031 plus we need another 39 so maybe we'll end up getting all of that yet this episode which would be fantastic um let's see i like that bumper better put the front turn signals on there color the windows hmm. antennas or no well, they're they're not Free, so we'll skip them for now. We can always modify it. I like those off road tires. We're not going to worry about the GPS. The hub color can stay, but we want to change the color of the truck. I'm liking that secondary color. If we did that, uh, yeah, I don't like that so much. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Cool. So let's go ahead and buy that for $54,300. We've got that now. Can we... We can temporarily afford the main color. We're going to make that. That color. Uh, design. What changes? That's the fender design. Okay, that changes that. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to buy that, though before we run out of cash. Fortunately, we'll be making some money here off of these. So let's go ahead, check out our truck. Nice. Uh, I like the sound of that thing. Oof. 
That's cool. So we're going to send this to home. Oh, and we can sell the other trailer that we've got at home right now. Okay. We're going to send you... Did we not create a home? Oh, we'll drive it home quick. I like the color. Love the uh, shiny cab. So we can drive this home. Let's check out the interior. Nice. Nice old school. I like, I like it a lot. Ooh. And we can start filling this bad boy up with water. And we can try and get those other things filled up very quickly then. Which would be nice. I could have swore I set a home spot. We'll check. I didn't. Wow. So we'll set create home so that we can send things to home when we need them. All right, so let's go ahead and sell that old trailer. It's not much, but maybe. Ooh, that would have been nice, but <laughs> it would have been cheaper, but we would have had to buy a semi. And that's not cheaper. All right, we'll let this fill up. Um, we're going to move it just a little out of the way. Let's jump to our pickup. Send that home and bring it to the shop to sell, I guess. Oops. Let's go ahead and turn these off because they're kind of annoying. And we're going to send you home. Alright, that is getting full. Time to unload it. Each combine is a different distance out that they go with their uh, shoots. And getting it just right isn't always easy. Okay, we're going to get this filled up, and we'll go check on field 18, although it's at 27% already, and this is at 20 or 69%, so we're making good progress on these fields. We'll have a little cash to spare, so our truck made it home. We'll hook up to the uh, old tank and see about getting rid of that, too, because... It's kind of uh, not something we should need anymore. Okay, I was hoping that would fill up that trailer before it made the corner, but... Fill up that trailer. And we're going to pull this over here, out of the way. And let's check. Yeah, this one's doing this field real well. This tank is still filling. These take a while. There's a lot of, you know, there's 13,000 gallons here. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our truck. Okay, we're making good progress on that field 47. Yeah, it's not a big field, so I don't think we're going to make a ton of money doing that one, but... Alright, let's... Go 
drive this uh, back to the shop. Actually, we'll probably just drive it since everything else is handling itself pretty well right now. Okay. So turn signals and off we go. I suppose we should get on our side of the road. And, you know, we've only, it's one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon here uh, in September. So we're making pretty good progress. A lot of work to get this stuff done, but we're making pretty good progress. All right. Let's go see about selling that bad boy. All right. Oh, we're going to get almost two grand back for it. Nice. And sold it. Awesome. So we got our truck here yet. We're going to pull this over here again. Takes a bit. We might trade this in for a better truck or a different truck. We'll see. I like the way it looks, but it could handle a little bit better. All right, so let's go over and check on our combine. See how it's doing. All right, 32% full. Yeah, we should be able to finish this field. Odds are we'll get it in one run, which should be great. That one's full. We might not all fit it all in one run here. Let's go ahead and uh, load this up. Maybe just go do a dump and we have plenty of room. Although it should fit. Do, do, maybe not. It's not like Johnson's is very far to go and dump it, so we'll do that. It looks like we'll be able to wrap this field up very quickly, which is nice. And maybe we can... We'll see where we're at cash-wise. We need 31000 in order to get the flatbed, which... We'll need for hauling the uh, produce to sell when it's time. You know what? We're going to just... Hmm. It's going to be tight. Yeah, we're going to give it a shot. Worst case, we have to wait a little longer to get this field complete. All right, let's go check. Oh, this field's coming along nicely. Hey, this is full. Let's go and uh, put some water in one of these real quick. We'll start at the far end. Dump 13,000 liters of water in there fast. And that will green that garden up. Plus, keep it running longer. <laughs> That's the big problem we have, is we need to make sure to top them all. But I want to get a load into each of them. That'll give us a day at least. Theoretically, with the Open Air Gardens mod, there is the ability to set up an automatic pumping system and... I want to see if I can figure that out. Because that would be fantastic. 
because then we could actually have it distribute fertilizer and everything directly. All right, so that's going to take some time to fill. And we're moving right along here. This field is almost done, which is great. Question is, are there other jobs we can take to make a little bit of money? Let's turn on details. Let's sort it by where we make the most. Fertilizing. We've got another field 20 cultivation. Um, so we've got a good return. So let's go ahead and borrow the items. And, oops. Let's go ahead and get this sucker on out there. Field 20. Any little jobs that we can manage. Get a little money. All right. I want you to go to field 16 and 20 to 20. Perfect. And once that gets out there, we set it up. We are almost done with field 47 here. This was quick. Fantastic. This is a decent combine. I haven't played with class much. So. It's looking good. I don't think we're going to get it all in one trip here, but we have tried. Let's go ahead and finish filling this up, in which case we just grab the last bit of the load. It should be good. Pull up right there. It'd be great if we could fit it all and we just do one trip. This, but... Okay. Auto save. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. All right. I thought maybe that was done. Maybe it's not. So let's take this over to offload. Why not? We have a cover. Let's play with it. <laughs> and let's take out the... Oh, we didn't take out... Oh, we did knock it over. I thought for sure we were just going to miss it, but we got the speed limit sign. We have delivered tons and tons of potatoes and sorghum to Johnson's here. It's amazing, actually, how much that they've taken... Um, oh, switch, <laughs> switch system, or er, trailers. Let that all empty out. Go up here. Empty that out, and we should be done. And field 18 is getting close to done already, too. Wow. And there we go. We make a little bit extra. Nice. And we're going to send this to the shop. This one's doing well. There go. Here comes uh, for field twenty. Let's uh, 
Let's see. Oh, you're not empty. That's the problem. Let's go ahead and quickly grab that last little bit. And sell that. And then we'll close out that contract. There we go. We're gonna actually... Yep, we're gonna do that. Send you that way. Alright. And here, we need to do field 20. Field 18 is nearly done already. Oh, this is a big, big one. I like this one. This goes quickly. All right, let's set up the course. Let's generate that. I don't want to be anywhere near the trees when we start doing the uh, rows. And that looks great. So we jump here, we go past this point here, or it skips a row. We start that. Okay, we made 880 off of that last little bit of uh, sorghum that we sold. Okay, and we're going to start this up and drive this back over. There goes the tractor on its way to the shop. And we can go close that contract and clear up the shop space a little bit. Not bad. You know, we're not going to make a killing. We're not going to make a ton of money, but we're making some money. We need it badly. All right, we're going to just park this right here. And we'll go take care of that contract. Boom. Collect. All right. Yep, we only made 6500 on that. Paid out a fair amount in wages. We made a little bit. Almost 12 total, which isn't bad. Nope. Seven total. Nine? Nine. <laughs> I can't do that. All right. You're doing just fine, so let's go ahead and do some more water unloading. Nice. We're getting there. Do I have working turns? I do. Nice. It's silly to buy a tanker truck like this for that short run, but it'd be nice to have that to, uh, we can double the team between this tanker and the uh, flatbed and be able to haul stuff a lot easier than if we did it in the pickup truck. Let's go over here again. Back it up just a little bit. Okay. And we load it up. Okay. Field 20 is working. And field 18 is nearly done. I think what we might do is we might finish this one ourselves. Because why not? Be kind of fun. All right. And since we don't have any other contracts going, although we could be trying to see if there's any management we could do to keep other fields going. I kind of miss being able to do a little bit of farming here, so. It's a nice little John Deere. The RX 310, 8RX 310. Oops, we're getting a little off track looking at the tractor instead of working. Wow. 
Maybe I should uh, <laughs> hire somebody to do it that's better capable of driving than me. I mean, seriously, that's terrible. Uh, that's not full yet. That's working. So let's take a look at contracts again. See if there's anything else. I'm avoiding fertilizing. There's a cheap, very cheap cultivating. There's baling, which we wouldn't make much. Field 48 plowing. Um, which one's 48? Depends on how big it is. Let's see. 48. This is right across the street. You know what? Let's do it. Just uh, get a little bit more cash that way. The items. Okay. So that's field 48 there. Ooh. Black case. There's this, uh... Nope, this is a Deutsch Fahr. Grab that. Plowing fields kind of sucks with these bigger plows most of the time, but let's see what we can do, huh? All right. Okay. And we're going to do... 12 because otherwise it's going to be really close inside the center and let's see what we get all right that works let's pull forward and start the plow we're managing this so paying wages again okay not bad so far let's see this one's nearly done looks like two more passes then we we can try finishing this one again. <laughs> Let's finish this one. So now that we've got a little bit of our own production functionality in place, we'll get that completely going. We'll make be making money that way. We start looking for a field to purchase and see what we can do. I am definitely not driving straight. Straighter than I thought, but not straight. It's terrible when the hired hands do better than I do. But, you know, that's not uncommon either. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're starting to make some progress. We got some of the basic things that I've kind of wanted to have to make life easier. We've got, and we can start making some money. We can save up stuff until we get uh, exactly where we want it to be. price-wise, that is, for the uh, stuff that we're going to sell, the uh, the lettuce and cotton that we're growing in those gardens. Once we've got those, and we've got plenty of money, plenty of stuff coming in that way, we'll be doing good. But, I think at this point, we're going to call this an episode. I'm going to finish up these fields finish water and the plants and I will see you in the next episode so until then have a good one this is Lord Eller catch you next time bye bye